So, hello everybody. I'm Yash Mantero. I'm an Italian medical epidemiologist and I'm representing today the epidemic intelligence team of the European Center for Disease Prevention and Control. So, uh, just a word on ECDC because probably you're not all familiar. Most of the people probably tend to compare ECDC with USCDC, but like a sort of European version. We are quite a smaller agency and much younger. We have been established only in 2005 and we work at the EU level. We are based in Sweden, that is a very cold area in the north of Europe with uh, uh, the, the, one of the lowest population density in all Europe and a difficult language, so we can focus really on our work and on our mandate. <laughs> uh, that is very specific, and it's a specific on infectious diseases only, and this is mainly the main difference from, from the US CDC. We work only on the identification, assessment, and communication of infectious diseases threats that happens at the EU level. And um, of course, like we are like 300, 350 staff, so this is another big difference with the US CDC. We are s organized in different programs, but we all work together for the health security at the EU level. That's the goal. And of course, we don't work on this alone. We have a lot of collaboration with actors, and mainly, I would say, with the national health authorities uh, in, at the EU level, but also with WHO, with uh, NGOs, uh, other agencies, and public health institutions outside Europe as well. So back on epidemic intelligence activities, this is it's just one of the works that we do every day. But I would like to say a few words about what we do in terms of risk monitoring and risk assessment at, at, at ECDC. So we have a dedicated team of six people that is coordinating all the epidemic intelligence activities internally and externally. So this team is working then in collaboration with all the others. And uh, we use any kind of information uh, uh, for epidemic intelligence purposes, but of course the, the web has a, has a key role now, and we work mostly on the web, I would say. So talking about the web, on the web there is official information, and we are working a lot on developing a restricted platform where the expert can share even preliminary information about outbreaks. But the, the most important work is on unofficial information, like all this huge amount, virtually unlimited amount of information that could be relevant but needs to be verified. And that's why we need to have a very good knowledge of the technology available to, to work on this. So we have been strengthening very good collaboration with the uh, with developers of these systems that we are talking about in these days, like event-based uh, surveillance systems. So um, trying to find the added value of each of them. We're working closely, especially with Medicis, because it's the European Commission tool. And but. Why do we need this information? There are many reasons. I mean, everybody is talking about early detection. Early detection is for sure one of the reasons. We need to provide timely information and rapid risk assessment to the countries. But it's not only about uh, early detection. We use the information for many other reasons. We use to, to follow up a threat that we already know, like uh, the ongoing, the development, what the media think about it, uh, what is the reaction. Uh, so there are many other things that we use for the webs. Uh, that we need from the web. So the main message we would like to give today here is that we think we have to work a, a lot more on the, on the collaboration between the two groups to build this bridge between the, the, the public health people that uh, do not really express their needs sometimes uh, in terms of technology and, and, and the developers and the technology that sometimes look at this tool and their functionality but not really at the, at the use that we can make of them. So there are very good examples of collaboration now. The GSAG uh, year was already uh, mentioned, and I would like to talk about another one. It is uh, what we do during mass gathering events. We, we collaborate with Medicis during mass gathering events to create um, a customized version of the tools based on our risk assessment. What is the risk in this country and considering the countries and the participating countries? So we've been doing this for the last five years, especially for the FIFA World Cup. But this year is special in Europe because uh, there will be two main uh, events, the Olympic Games in London and, and, the, and the UEFA Cup in, in Poland. So we are already working with the hosting countries and, uh, to, to develop this. In terms of uh, web sources, we, we work more, mostly on news items, but of course blogs and, and forums are already in our daily activity, while for Twitter and other, other social media we see a limited and very specific use for the moment, but we are open to discussing. I've published last year a very detailed tutorial on about of what we do in terms of epidemic intelligence. So you can have a look on the website and there is much more information about our approach to epidemic intelligence and what to do every day. So um, just to let you know that we are quite open to any collaboration and any discussion. We want to, to have the best use of the technology. So please feel free to contact us for any idea or suggestions. Thank you. Ah.